Hello everybody. Tonight I want to show you how to make your own custom football logo, maybe with your town's home name at the top, such as in this case. I was um, designing something for a friend of mine's son. Um, he's in a little league football called, their team's called Temec the Temecula Titans and it's a Pop Warner program. But I was working on this for him and I came up with this little logo and it's a spin off of the Tennessee Titans logo. So I wanted to do a tutorial for my YouTube followers and show them how I did it. It's pretty easy. I did it within Illustrator and Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to get started. So I went ahead and um, already did this, this layout, but I'm going to just duplicate it down here, show you how I did it. First off, you'll start with your text tool and you can find a Tennessee Titans font. Um, for free online. It's called Bubba Love Bold, I believe. Let's see where it is. There it is. First thing I'm going to do, start out with a pretty large font size at 72. Yeah, I'm going to type in Itens. Iten. I'm going to leave off the T and I'm going to leave off the S. Next, you'll have items selected. Go down to Effect, Warp, Arc, Upper. Turn on your preview so you can see what you're doing. And I put it at about, oh, you want the dip to be pretty low so you can fit Temecula in there. So, about right there will be good. Next, go back to the type tool and type out your T. This T, well, we can leave it. We can leave it at that for now. But um, then we'll type an S. And going back to our selection tool, let's move these up here next to the word. We're going to have to make these bigger. One more. Move it over a little bit. Maybe just one more. Two more. Because I want this, this edge of the T to kind of curve down to meet the eye real nice. So we're going to do the same thing with this S. And what did I have it at? 94? 95. Yep. 95. Okay. Something's not right here. And I think I know what it is. I think it's within my tracking. Yes. This tracking should be at zero. Yes. We're going to spread out the tracking for the word Temecula. But for Titans, we don't want it spread out at all. Select all that and let's move down some. Okay, I think I'll zoom in as well. Okay, I might make this even a little bigger. Oops, easy. I just want this one. There. 
100 points is good. Okay. And go back to the text tool. We're going to... Oops. Sorry about that. Let's put this about 21. Now we want to go down to a different font. Milford Black, I believe. Let's type out Temecula. Okay, and this has the tracking of 200. Let's make this a little bit larger. And we'll move this right in here. That needs to go in a bit more. We'll shrink this down. 20 is good. Move it over. Okay, now I want to shrink this down a little bit. Yep. Do not want to do that. Select all these. Let's. My goodness. Let's zoom back out. There we go. Okay. Now we can change this, all these to a different color. Let's make them a nice blue. Okay. Let's control C to copy. Let's go over to Photoshop. And let's create a new document. And let's take it about 1200 by 750 and let's paste it right in there and we'll paste it in as a smart object so we can stretch it out real nice right there okay okay that looks good next we're gonna give it a bevel and emboss We want to make this depth pretty deep in the size, about right there. About so it looks kind of sharp at the top. So there we go. Now we're almost done. Let's duplicate this layer, dragging, dragging it down to the duplicate layer button, and then hold down shift with your selection tool, drag this down, control T, right click, flip vertical, move it up just a hair, hair from the bottom. Add a layer mask, gradient, has to be black to white, and about right here to about right there, holding down shift. There we go. We're done. Okay, so... That's your hometown Titans team replicated after the NFL, the NFL's Tennessee Titans. And like I told you, I, I put it in a, a little collage like this. So thanks. Um, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate it, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Bye.